Hello, welcome to the Soul Commander channel. And today we're taking a look at something I've never owned. Well, I've owned dogs most of my life, but never a training collar. I just didn't feel the need to have one because I guess I was able to train my dogs just fine, you know, without one. But uh, for those that have uh, some difficulty with that or has a dog that's, uh, you know, just not uh, behaving appropriately, I can see in some circumstances that uh, one of these might be something that you're going to need to use. So this comes in actually a two collar system, but this one is for one dog okay so you can get this package in um, two collar uh, system so with with additional uh, um, devices there for um, the dog in that so let's take a look inside here and uh, see what we get with everything it's rather a nice kit to be honest with you and I'll leave the description below on where you can purchase it and also, if there's any codes down below, be sure to check those out. Sometimes you can buy product on my channel at a discount by looking in the description. So always check the description out. Very nice manual, I'll just have to say right off the bat. Uh, it's very uh, well designed and easy to read, which I like. And it looks like it happens to be... Yes, it is. It's all in English. So you don't have to worry about uh, getting to a certain part in the manual there to find the English part or the Spanish or whatever. This is all in English. So that's very nice and very well done, it looks like, too. The one thing I want to do tell folks about these uh, particular collars that I do know about is that you should always be checking your dog I'm going to just take this out first of all. This is the piece that actually fits on the collar. And then, uh, let's see, they've got to be in here somewhere. Yes, here they are. You have different size contacts that you can screw into here. And this is what actually will deliver a shock to the, uh, to the dog, okay? And you're always wanting to make sure that you check the dog's neck and take this off. You know, sometimes uh, don't leave it on all the time and just assume the dog's going to be all right. They can become allergic to these or they can be irritating sometimes. And you don't want to have anything happening around your dog's neck. This is normally sits right underneath the um, windpipe of the dog. So underneath the neck, you know, on the bottom part of the uh, the dog so anyway there there's the two pieces that you get and there's a power button there on the side and uh, way to get inside of it here these are all chargeable uh, let's take out this let's show you this this happens to be a uh, neck strap it looks like yes like a lanyard so and the reason for that is because Maybe you want to just hook it on here, and you've got a very... And this is dense plastic. I like the feel of this already. This has got some weight to it. It's a very hard plastic. There's your uh, two-switch system for if you have a second collar, which in this case we do not. You can deliver just a tone if you want to. Um, you can deliver a vibration if you want to do that, or if it gets necessary, the shock. And uh, I've got two collies. I'm going to test this, but I'm not going to use no shock. No shock. You can also deliver intensities. So you can go all the way from 1 up to 16 on this device. And I can tell you that they're saying, and I've heard, and I'm going to test, you have a range of 600 meters with this. If you got clear line of sight and you just you know hold it way up in the air and push the button, don't hold it down beside you, but way up in the air, way up high, clear line of sight, you can go about 656 yards. So that's like six football fields 
that this thing will uh, deliver a signal. So that's pretty darn far, you know? So not bad. You get the little, little adapter here, USB adapter, so you can charge everything up. You get a test light to make sure it's actually functioning. So you put these contacts on the contacts I was showing you here on the bottom of this unit once they're installed and you can test, make sure that it's actually doing what it's supposed to be doing. This, I just have to tell you, I've had this out of the box already, guys. This little dog whistle with my one collie, man, oh man, she responds. Love this. It really does work. She responds. I've already got her kind of trained with it. When she's not coming to me, I blow the whistle. I say, come here, Trinity, and blow the whistle, and boy, she comes a darting right to me. So, And the other dog, my other collie, uh, the male, the little puppy, he looks and he listens, but he doesn't quite respond like that. Now, you do get a collar with it, and I have not measured this, but what they're saying is it's about a little over 9 inch. Um, uh, a collar up to 25 inches that you can cut and adjust. So 25 inches is rather long. So uh, you'd have to have a pretty big dog, I would say, for that. But uh, but anyway, that's your collar. And then here's your uh, your charging um, port, your USB to plug into there, and then one to uh, charge the remote and one to charge the collar. And access, of course, is through there. Now, I don't know if you guys remember, but I did a little video on a watch, and we talked about the uh, ingress protection or the international prote uh, protection, the uh, IP rating. This particular collar and unit has an IPX7 rating, so that's good for, oh, submersion for about 30 minutes in water uh, down to about 39 inches. So 39 inches of water submersion 30 minutes so it would be good for out in the rain no problem for a little while so uh yep that's what that's all about so i'm going to test this and we will be back and i will let you know what i think about it and so on and so forth um you know i i personally don't use these devices but i can see in a circumstance where somebody might have to do that with a certain dog maybe to usually you know positive reinforcement is the best but uh if you can let them know that they're you know listen listen to me listen up here and deliver a buzz or a tone uh, hopefully maybe not a shock but if it's necessary you can set it on low and do that personally um i don't like doing it uh but some some animals they need a little reinforcement that way sometimes i would say so i won't knock the product at all uh, for that for those folks that absolutely have to do something and nothing seems to be working but usually positive reinforcement does it but i can see some positive ways of using this just by the tone or the vibration so we're going to test it out and we will be back and i will let you know what i think and give the soul commander rating Okay, guys, we are back, and uh, hey, I just wanted to say, you know, the manual says that when you first try to charge these up, it takes about four hours. It actually took only two hours. When I first tried it, it was totally dead. Both uh, both units were totally dead. This, the collar thing, the vibration shock uh, device, and the transmitter, totally dead. Not even a little charge in them. And I was expecting a four-hour charge, but you know what? Uh, fully charged. The light was flashing on here. The battery was showing fully charged. This turned green. There's a little light on here. And that turned green and she was ready to go in two hours. They say after the first initial charge, it'll take about two to three hours to charge thereafter. But uh, my first try was, was two hours. So, And hey, it, it definitely works. Uh, it definitely works. I did not do the shock on them. However, I did test the shock with the uh, little light to see if it was actually delivering a shock, and it is. So that definitely works. But I did use the tone and the vibration uh, with the uh, 1 to 16 intensity level 
on there. And like I said before, this dog whistle, it really works. It really works. I'm really impressed with that little dog whistle. It's not little, actually. It's pretty big. But uh, but I, I was really impressed with that. Um, something I didn't show you, too, is the lanyard. You know, it, it, it fits through here, and you can hang it around your neck. And it is quick release as well. You push the button, and off she comes. So you don't have to have it around your neck constantly. But I wanted to show you this real quick um, a little bit, too, guys, while I'm telling you about this or showing this to you. I did want to mention to you, too, that um, you're not going to want to use this on a, a dog that's under six months old, okay? So at least the dog needs to know how to sit, um, you know, before you start using this. And it should be at least six months old. And don't use around other pets because they can hear the tone and the vibration, and then if you use it on them, they're going to be, you know, get kind of confused. So I wouldn't use it in training uh, around other pets if I were you. Um, it, do it does have a nice, if I turn it on here, you can turn it on just by pressing any button. And let's go ahead and activate this first. There's the uh, power button. You know, the charger is, let's see here, where is, the charger port is, right down here and you just pry the little rubber gasket off of there and then there's your your charging port right in there so it's um it's nicely you know covered up from rain and and whatnot you have the same situation going on back here on this one there is a screw too so i, I they i suppose they're replaceable if they would ever break but uh, yeah you just pull it up and you plug it in and charger right there but anyway um, to turn this on you hold it down for just a little bit you can see the light coming on and then you just press any button and it's act it turns it on you could see the light flash there I'll let you hear that what the tone sounds like this is on the low setting see it's really low the vibration I know I wish you guys could feel this but But it's vibrating there. Now, if you want to initiate a shock on the animal, it will only do the shock for 10 seconds. Okay, and then it's going to give you a rest in between. So it's only going to deliver a shock for a total of 10 seconds if you hold the button down. And then it rests for 5 seconds, and then it will re-shock the animal again. Like I said, I did not use that um, feature. It does have a one-year warranty. You want to keep your receipt as well, but it does have a one-year warranty. Automatically, you know, shuts off. This will stay on. You're going to have to, you know, remember when you've got your dog back in to press the power button to uh, turn it off. And the manual is a little incorrect on the on the buttons here. Uh, the manual they just kind of reverse things around. On the picture diagram was correct in the manual on page ten. You guys will figure it out. But uh, there on page 10, I corrected it with my, you see my writing there. But um, yes, it does say that the vibration only button is an orange button with a dot. But, um, or, or it says with a bar actually, but it's an orange button with a dot. But it says it's with a bar. And then the shock only button is black, they say, with a dot. But they got these two mixed around. It's a black button with a bar. And that's on there in case, you know, you've, you're you blind. Um, you can, you know, feel uh, that's supposed to help you, I guess, for that reason. Of course, the intensity here, I can show you that. Um, you can, you know, turn it up. It's on one now. You can turn it all the way up if my camera would focus here. Turn it all the way up to 16. Got a little battery indicator in there, which is really nice. And, of course, you can get another unit, so you flip it over to the, the second unit. And then uh, and you can see that it has its own settings then, too. You know, unit number two is set on five right now. So, but I this one did not come with the second unit. But in case you have two dogs, that's a nice little uh, feature as well to have there. So, but all in all, folks, um, I give this an A-plus rating. I really do. It's made very nice. You have plenty of collar. I did not cut my collar off. But uh, you could actually trim this collar up if you wanted to, um, you know, make it shorter because there is a lot of excess. I mean, on my collie, I had like that much excess. This is 25 inches long. So you could actually cut it 
and then uh, like use a lighter and then kind of seal the end of it. It's a it's a nylon with plastic coating. I know it's hard to see in the video, but this is a nylon with plastic coating over it. So anyway, folks, it is a workable device. I got about five football fields estimated uh, for distance, and I had some obstacles like trees and stuff in the way, but uh, they say a, around six football fields, okay? So it, it's got a great distance um, for it, but um, uh, it, it, it is something that does work. If you're interested in something like this, be sure to see the description below. As always, and if the company sends discount codes, I will insert those also down there where you can uh, use those to uh, possibly purchase this at a discount. Right now, I believe it's selling for $50. Be sure to see the link below. Also, if you like the video too, hit the like button, you guys, and please subscribe. There's also a donation link down there as well. If you feel like donating to the channel, I use all the funds to go right back into the channel to uh, purchase editing equipment and uh, trying to get some new cameras as well. So thank you for watching, everybody. You guys take care of yourself and be good to each other, and we will see you next time.